Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin Capricorn. Okay, so this week's a little bit different to the norm. I feel that there are invitations to go out. Perhaps there are people you don't really know yet. You're getting to know one person in particular, maybe two. There could be one person that you've really been connecting with, and I feel this could be earth sign energy. This is somebody that has a great sense of humor. Uh, they can bring a lot of excitement to your day in general. It feels good. It's good energy. It's really all about reconnecting and really seeing things from a different perspective. You know, you sort of have, you, you've come to a point now where you're ready to open up to a, a different world different places, different people. There's going to be a mix of, of that thrown at you this week. I feel that you might even take away with you something that you learn from this fellow earth sign. If, if this isn't uh, a solid friendship or a relationship, you know, people come and go all the time. It's not going to be something that will make you feel, you're not going to be feeling sad about this or disheartened in any way. But if this is a one-off a once-off opportunity and you get together and it's great and then you never see this person again and it's it's just an example there's something about this person that you might even you might even though you might click with this person on many levels you're still taking a fair bit away with you that perhaps you didn't know before it, you know and, and I mean life is a, a learning journey the whole way throughout and this just happens to be something new and exciting it may or may not stick it's fresh, it's different, it's definitely different, but it's a friendship or a relationship that could potentially last a lifetime, and it may not. Don't get your hopes up too high. I feel that you have had some time to think about a few things. I feel that one of the things that has been weighing on your mind, which you may not be talking to everybody about this, but it's been weighing on your mind, and it has something to do with changing location, moving to a place that might be more cost-effective. It comes through, it does come through that way. It could be that you might even decide you want to move to a different country or a different suburb. It, it, it really can depend on your situation. It's almost as if you're looking at, let's say, for example, if you want to buy a house and you know that you can get value for money in a particular suburb, a specific area, but the only downfall to living in, a, in that area would be that, if, that it is so far away, but it is dirt cheap from where you're currently living. It could be, you know, you have to travel a fair distance to get to a specific place to get to other places so you know you can have that big house you can have the dream house that you really wanted it's going to be 10 times cheaper but there is a very big but that stands in the way of you going ahead with this option simply looking at it from a logical point of view I do want to ask where is the logic in that you know you have if you're comfortable now and there's nothing really standing in the way what is it you know, what is it that, that's got you questioning certain things, certain parts of your life? What needs to change? Do you really need that change? What is it that's actually bothering you? What is the underlying issue? Are you trying to run away? Are you trying to escape from your current reality? What's behind all of this? There's some sort of a plan or an idea, but there is, there's a reason as to why you feel this way. And it just doesn't seem to stick. It's, it's not realistic. It doesn't come from nowhere. Um, and I really would be sitting down with myself if I were you thinking about it. I mean, do what you will. This might be something that you consider doing to be able to help yourself to better understand yourself is to go over this time and time again, if, even if you have to do that. Do you know, think practical, uh, where's that logic? As I said, what's, what's going to be best for me? Am I, am I being restless? What lies behind this restlessness? Why am I feeling this way? What's driving me to jump ship and move to a place where there's nothing around me? Sure. I've got the house and it's way cheaper, but is it going to satisfy my every need or satisfy satisfy me in the long run altogether think long and hard about what you want to do i'm not saying it's not possible it's definitely doable i really feel that you're acting on impulse not always necessarily a bad thing but sometimes it's easy to get caught up in whatever we are struggling with and at times it's it, you know we translate it in a different way our mind is racing, we say things we may not mean, we do things we probably should not, we think it's okay at the time and everything will turn out great. And, you know, once we get there, it turns out that it wasn't all that it was set out to be. 
set up to be. You know, this, this part of the reading I find really triggered me and I feel that there is something that is triggering you. If you are confused, if you are uncertain about some decisions that you feel you need to make in a hurry, you simply don't. Nobody's forcing you, nobody's pushing you, nobody's making you, nobody's telling you and all the rest of it. You need to decide by tomorrow. Absolutely, no, you don't have to decide by tomorrow. Um, Yes, it might be that there's just so much pressure around this. So the fact that there's this rushed feeling, you know, you could be really torturing yourself to want to go in into this without considering very much else at all. Uh, think about this. Thank you, Capricorn.